letting go of resistance to align with the law of assumption for manifestation seems very elusive. Like, what does any of that mean? Well, this is basically how you manifest money, love, beauty, really anything. In a formulaic, kind of mathematical nutshell, which is the best way that I know how to understand broader concepts by putting them together in some sort of equation and then just doing that thing and allowing what will happen to happen. Kind of like one plus one equals two. I don't know how one plus one equals two, but I just know that it does. So today for this equation on how to manifest really anything via law of assumption, the variables are letting go, resistance, alignment, law of assumption, and manifestation. Let's Put this all together in a simple equation to make it make sense. To let something go means to relinquish attachment to it, whether physically or emotionally. Resistance is doubt, insecurity, desperation, and beliefs that don't serve your assumption. And it could sound like this. I know I want him, but I don't think he would want me. I know she said she loves me, but I mean, come on, look at her and look at me. I know I went to school for this position, but I don't think I could actually get it. Look at my competitors. They're in with the boss. I'm not that charismatic. You know what? If I was going to find love, it would have happened by now. I'm single. It is what it is. And I'm going to just, you know, say no from now on. I'm going to just keep myself inside. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to, nah, nah, I'm not going to do that. That's resistance, and that's what you emotionally detach from. In other words, let go of. Do you notice how these above examples aren't anything too dramatic? It's nothing like, oh, I'm an ogre, and I'm broke, and I'm dumb as hell forever. It's nothing too dramatic like that. Most times, it's just these little ideas that we hold in our mind about ourselves that are holding us back from aligning with the law of assumption to manifest. If the law of assumption says that whichever you assume to be true will be true, then how could you ever truly envelop the woman that you love if you don't believe that she truly loves you back? You'll feel like a total idiot for throwing your heart out on the table if you don't believe that hers is already there. So it's your resistance that you haven't let go of yet that is preventing you from aligning with the law of assumption that would manifest said assumption. But the moment you let go of those ideas, you will naturally start falling into alignment with a healthier assumption. You'll want to buy her flowers with no fear that she's perceiving you as a wuss, which she'll appreciate by giving you lots of kisses. You'll want to do more. She'll want to do even more. You'll want to do even more. She'll want to do even more. The love increases, and one day you realize, oh my God, I think I'm in love. I've manifested the love of my life. So we just secretly touched upon the definition of alignment and the process of manifestation. Alignment is thoughts, feelings, and actions all moving towards the same direction. Believing she loves you, alignment. Buying her flowers, alignment. Trusting she'll perceive you positively, alignment. Her giving you lots of kisses, confirmation. You doing more for her, alignment. The love increasing and you realizing you're both in love, manifestation. So once you're in alignment, the assumption has a chance to build momentum and it builds and builds and builds until it manifests. That is really how you achieve anything out of this life. It takes all parts of you, mind, body, and spirit, all moving towards the same direction. So the equation is let go of resistance, align yourself to your assumption and then it manifests but none of this amounts to anything quickly unless you let go of resistance so how do you let go of resistance super simple answer believe the good that you see believe the good that you hear stop overthinking everything Stop overanalyzing everything. If she tells you that she loves you and she acts like she loves you, 
and it's been six months and she's still here loving you, I think she loves you. Just believe it. If you've gone to school for this position and you've been recommended to apply for it, obviously you're a credible contender. You're equipped for the role. Just do your best and get it. Let go of the resistance by believing the good that you see. When you believe the good that you see, you align with the assumption, thereby allowing manifestation or achievement to commence. If you want money, love, and beauty, most people just want those three main material things. Well, firstly, you're not standing in a 12-year-old's body. You've got hips. You've got an apparent bust. You've got a pretty face. Even if you only currently feel beautiful in makeup, it's a start. Just take it and believe the beauty that you see. Believe it and allow it to expand. Same thing with money. I know you've got money because you're not homeless. Believe in the money, the money that you see. Allow yourself to align with it so it can expand. With love and attraction, I know you do get hit on every so often. Instead of second guessing the person's gaze or their true intentions, oh, he's just drunk. Oh, she's just settling. Just believe it and allow the love and attraction in your life to expand. Now with the love example, I am not telling you to marry the first man that buys you a drink or a woman who is obviously using you as a rebound. Keep your heart out of these situations, but use it mentally as evidence that you are capable of attracting other people for romantic purposes. So you can let go of the resistant thoughts that tell you you're not because they are simply untrue. The point of this is to help you align with your assumption long enough so it has a chance to manifest. In summation, believe the good that you see and don't overthink it. Take from each situation only the good so you can let go of resistance. When you let go of resistance, you'll be able to align with your assumption. When you align with your assumption, it does manifest. It's all a matter of controlling your perspective. Two videos ago, I tried to make this slogan happen. I know what I said. I don't know what you heard, but it goes both ways. I know I saw that person, that sober person, checking you out last night. I don't know what you saw. I know I saw this woman intensely loving you for the last four months. I don't know what you received. Get in control of your perspective and believe the good that you see. All you gotta do is let go of resistance so you can align your thoughts, feelings, and actions. And now everything is moving forward again in the same direction simultaneously. Law of assumption kicks into this vibration and then it manifests. And the simplest way to do this, believe the good that you see. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck and smells like a duck, really, how does it serve you to believe it's a cow? <laughs> and with that being said, thank you for watching this video. I truly do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I trust you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more content just like this one. So how did you like today's video and what video would you like to see next? You let me know in the comment section down below. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. Toodles.